Good morning, mate. Or afternoon, even. Yes, good afternoon. It's, uh, it's been a very, very long time since we were here. Five months, in, I think, we just worked out. In the Green Place. <laughs> or Green, Green Valley, Nebraska, as the people that actually pay attention know. Unlike yes. some people. You can get my miss bit there if you like. Uh, no. <laughs> How well, are you working. anyway? I'm good, thanks. It's been a... Uh, yeah, it's been an interesting few months of it has. Uh, Maze Plus releasing. You've been that a busy was, boy. That was after this, I think. It was, yes. Um, kind of luckily, I guess, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because that was kind of manic. But... And it's really nice to just get in a tractor and press go. After last night's set throttle, put in gear, release parking brake. That sounds like a lot of fair food. Yeah. I am working my way through watching the stream. Uh, it was good fun. It was good fun. It got a little bit existential. And, uh, uh -huh. Talking about uh, techno technological amnesia. Oh, okay. If you didn't get that far yet. Not got that far yet, no. It's a completely new topic for me. Um, yeah, but it seemed like a bunch of people had... Uh, seen the uh the stuff the guy that paul's talking about so oh okay it's kind of kind of interesting i'm gonna i am gonna go and have a listen to uh or try and find some of it but um we maybe aren't the first time round of uh intelligent life evolving on the planet oh that does sound um deep it it, it was a bit deep for a thursday evening after a long week at work <laughs> um, uh when I was trying to concentrate on not crashing too much. Yes, I did see the bit with the plough and the garage and, oh, the, lamp and the street lamp. I, I, I only hit the one street lamp. I didn't see the rest of it. It was behind me. <laughs> yeah, it, <laughs> I wasn't looking in the mirrors, therefore it didn't happen. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Enough. And and the one that no one saw um, when I was somewhere. I can't remember where. <laughs> Whoever did this headland, I've had a right mess of this. Uh, I'm going to say you. Yeah. can't remember who it was, to be fair. Should we um, do the headlands and then clear the bales? Or at least will one of us That's clear the bales? probably a very good idea. I'm going quite occasionally to uh, cut out the uh, the hammer drilling. Ah, uh, yes. Because I've been, uh... been a complete amateur and I have yet to put on push to talk. Oh, yeah, same, actually. Oh, well. And I'm leaving quite a lot of misbits. Yes, these, I these am bailers, well. These bailers do not have very forgiving pickups. No, they don't. We need ones uh, about a 20-foot pickup, I think. Yeah, yeah. We we need the Mr. CDP version from, uh, was it Eureka Farms? It was Where you Eureka just drive down Farms. the field once and bail the whole field. Yes, that would can work you, just fine. Can you set a GPS course? Can I set one? No, Who I'm knows? just looking. Um, if we've got one saved from doing the combining, then possibly. Uh, I can't remember how to switch on all the guidance steering GPS stuff, so I'll let you work that out. Does work... Um, but it's a bit missing, It'll probably be so. off for the headlands because yeah. we wouldn't have... But the up-downs, you should be able ah. to use it. <laughs> Just ignore that. I didn't see anything. Good. Honest. Yeah. Everybody else yep. would have. Yeah. And everyone watching mine will as well because uh, I'm not that kind. <laughs> I don't have to press the wrong button there. That happens sometimes. I, my, my my recent one and I don't know why I've started doing it is jumping out of the tractor instead of accelerating oh oh yes um, that's, that, that's a really good one that I do that, quite often yeah that would be uh, E rather than W yep. I'm guessing yep yeah yeah put your key put your hand in slightly the wrong place on the keyboard and uh, 
it, it feels like maybe you were just trying to be slow so you didn't have to do bail collecting. No, no, not at all. It was um, complete user error. Honest. I'll, I'll, actually, I could believe that. I could believe that. I've, I've seen. I've seen you do stuff. <laughs> uh, uh. Right. Yeah, so... I, I've I've almost completely forgotten this save. Apart from B2. the fact that we had this stupidly large field to uh, to bail. Yes. Was it wheat or was it barley? I think it. I'm just going to have a look and see if it shows up in the silo. Because I don't. Oh, it doesn't, it. does it? Because it's a production or something weird. Yeah. Um, yeah. I. I. You'll be able to tell from the map. Because we haven't ploughed it yet. It was wheat. Excellent. And I yeah, think... so I think I, I think when we ended the last video, we had put a load of stuff into the silo, and we weren't sure if it was still there or not. Yes. And it was because we were, I went and checked afterwards, but it doesn't show up as a silo in the uh, menu. Yeah, it's a weird one that. Yeah. So guess we could recap can't we we've got corn in field five yeah we've got just sorghum immense yeah sorghum in field six which is ready to harvest and i can't remember the rest uh i think we've got some grass somewhere we have got grass um we've because the two plan... fields of soybeans yeah because the plan is to get cow because we have two cow pastures there we do uh, Right, let's see if I can make this track, this auto load trailer work. Could be B. I think it is B. Obviously, we should be using one of Loki's trailers or Loki's sure. auto load mod. But yeah, that works. Excellent. Right, it looks like it looks like it's a uh, you can bail collect at full speed job as well. Oh, marvelous! So remember, realism is key. <laughs> yeah, something along them lines. I'm sure if a real farmer could collect their bales off the field at 60 miles an hour, they would. Well, you'd be mad not to, really, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. It, I, I haven't watched um, Joe Seals in a very long time, but when they were doing harvest season, Mm. and collecting straw bales the amount of days they spent loading straw bales up yeah was pretty insane yeah it's not um it's not a quick process is it no no it's i'm all. pretty glad that for the scale of farming that we're doing we don't have to do that no i know <laughs> i've just seen you hurtling literally from the insight into the view, interview, and it's quite hilarious. Oh, having had, well, not had to, but having wind rode at like five miles an hour and then ploughed at four miles an hour, I'm uh, rebelling. You feel the need for speed. Yes, power. Power. Well, I haven't looked yet, but they've announced the uh, the date for the second series, haven't they? Ah, uh, yes, they have. It is, um... Uh, someone will correct us. Um, it's Feb 23, and I think it's like something like the 10th, I think. It's not that Maybe the far 12th. away. No, not the way the years seem to be passing at the minute, mate. Mm. It was funny. Um, the, uh, the video I did on sheep, everyone's mm. reference <laughs> point was Jeremy Clarkson tried to, tried to make money from sheep, and he didn't. Yeah. Well, is that, yeah, that's fair. Yes, I, I'll, I'll be honest. I've not watched that one yet. The oh, um, I've spoiled it for you. The cows, uh, the cows, the dairy, the cows, beef. the cows, beef and dairy were interesting, and I think I yeah. commented in. I was like, oh, good. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Nice yeah, to have that a big mainly... beef cow that you've got. <laughs> well, yeah. I literally, I could, can I say? Yeah, so today's video, we get our first bit of milk. Ooh. So, yeah. It picks up so quickly. 
Um, uh, it needs to. <laughs> I've just um, it'll be it'll be it'll probably be a video after this, but even on Maypole where I've got twelve cows producing milk, it's a decent income every day. Mm. Um, in the the video that's partway through uploading at the moment, I um, on Greenlands with the hundred and sixty dairy cows, mm. the amount of milk that I got in a month is just in not even a month. I think it was like two days. Yeah, is insane. Um, that is cool. It was enough um, to go. No, I shouldn't spoil it because it'll come out before this. It was enough to go and buy an entire field <laughs> from one day. That is, um, um, that is it pretty, was pretty good. crazy. Yeah, because you couldn't do that save either, could you? Whilst uh, no, the laptop no. was gone. No, there was. N where am I going to unload bales to? Okay, the, uh, oh, you got it. Oh. Yep, and I've just stopped in the wrong place. That's why I was confused as to why they weren't unloading. But I'm in the wrong trigger. Uh, this could go very badly. I must um, admit, I um, I think what day was it? Thursday afternoon. I was watching back some of the um, what's it called? Brain freeze. One that you couldn't do. Uh, Greenlands. One. Greenlands. I knew it was green. I was like, no, this is this is the green place. Yeah, yeah. The Greenlands ones where you that's, were. See, that's why I was getting confused when we did the first <laughs> one, first video, because they oh, were all green. The other, the other green place. Yeah. Um, yeah, I must admit, I was watching back on uh, when you were changing stuff over, just to make sure I was changing stuff in the right place. And yeah, the swap over's gone well. Yeah, everything I'm, seems I'm... to work. I think I'm almost caught up on your Carmson video, so I'm looking forward to seeing how you cope with the Maze Plus. Well, on a big I'm, scale. Yeah, I've zeroed the milk because that's the one that I'm interested in. I know I'm yeah. going to get a load of who. How, um, how many cows have you got? Five hundred. Jesus. Yeah. So and it's been quite cool actually because I wanted 500 bang on because it's just a nice number. Um, so I had to, and this is a noob talking now, so I had to go in and change stuff within the Carmsden map to make sure mm -hmm. that I could get the right amount, you know, change some of the quant quantities within the modded cow barn as well, just up the food a bit because otherwise. Yep. After 30 seconds, they'd be hungry again. Um, yeah, because you're looking at, what, 2 million litres of food a month? Yeah. No, it won't be that much. Do you, uh, they eat, each cow is about 4,000 litres a month. Okay. Assuming they're older cows. They are. Or, or uh, I think the majority are... Old, the 20, um, 20, uh, eight month old ones will eat four thousand liters a day or yeah. a month. Sorry. It's um yeah, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you, you you might want something bigger than those really big feed mixers that hold forty thousand liters of feed. <laughs> yeah, I've got the. I don't know what they're called now? Silo King one. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's a reason that I bought one that holds 125,000 litres. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking that the, it holds 120,000 litres of food, the the barns do. Yeah. So if I can do two mixes a day, that should, well, that should how be many fine. Days, how many day months are you playing on? I think it's set to two. I've not actually so changed you, that. So you're looking at a million litres of food a day potentially uh -huh. if i'm doing job. if i'm if i'm doing the maths right in my head i think you might um, be because your maths is significantly better than mine i i i never do live maths live i'm maths. just getting a calculator up um but yeah 500 times Four thousand. Yep, two million oh, litres per month. 
So yeah, you 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 you're gonna be busy feeding. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to Carlson Farm. Where I'm feeding the cattle again. <laughs> yeah. There's no time to harvest any or make any food for them. No, nope, nope, you are just feeding cattle. Yeah. It's um it's, uh, yeah. yeah. It, yeah, I I'm was nervous. nervous when I when I added it to Greenlands, um, yeah. and you know I had four million liters of silage in storage. Yeah, see, I've not got that much. I reckon <laughs> between the two barns, there's one point two, maybe no, not even that. So that's Probably like a day's worth of feed. Yeah, it's probably about a million litres. But luckily, hey. the episode that I'm sort of working my way through recording is going to be a uh, silage session. Mm. Yeah, so, you could do uh, it without the... Oh, I've disconnected the baler. Um, you could do it without the animal food additions, and then it's not quite as extreme. Yeah, maybe. Um, you could do it on eat, but you won't get the same extremes of milk either because you're looking at getting, you know, a million litres of milk a month as well. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, one of the things I've done, and I need to tweak the one at the new car barn, is I've set um, an auto drive route mm. for picking up and obviously delivering milk. Yeah, so, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, I thought so. The other thing that might be a good idea is an auto drive route that picks up bulk uh, TMR from the shop. <laughs> yeah. The farm supply pack might become your friend. Yeah. Can somebody uh, make me a mod that just spawns uh, a million <laughs> litres of TMR a day, please? It's don't called mind, I don't mind, Yeah, I don't mind picking it up. There's a bulk delivery mod. I've not mm -hmm. tried it, but... Um, I don't know what the limit is on how much it can deliver. It might not be a million litres, but... <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's going to be uh, fun. There's plenty of money in the bank, so the cows aren't going to oh, starve. I, I, I don't think money will be your problem. I don't either. Um, they say the volume of milk you're going to make, you're going to be swimming in money. Um, it'll be keeping up with feeding. Yeah. I guess that's... Um, I guess that's quite true to real life, though, isn't it? Really, a dairy farm yeah. would use profit from milk to fund mineral feeds or, yeah, you know, um, fodder. So definitely, and that, that, that's kind of the the balance, I guess, isn't yeah. it? When you're having to buy it in, as the uh, the increase, any increase in milk production you might get versus the cost that you pay out. Yeah. Yeah, and um, I guess I think that's what Tom Pemberton sort of bases it all off. Obviously, he's got YouTube yeah. as income as well, but that lot seems to get plumped into uh, plumped, plumped into uh, other things, doesn't it? So I think that was kind of the, the the bits his dad does with when they decided to get fodder beat in and stuff. Mm. Was the uh, the benefit of it to uh, increase milk production? Yeah, versus the cost of buying it. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, uh, yeah, it's the same with almost everything, isn't it? It's like, is, is is this money that I'm going to spend make things better or worse? Well, yeah. Got two chances, haven't you? Yeah. And you and and if it doesn't, you don't do it again. You use yeah. it all up and uh, go on to something else. Yeah, is that in the um, the Greenlands video that I'm part way through uploading, I. Uh, I decided that I wanted to use mineral feed mm. and I brought 5,000 litres of mineral feed and it went in one mix and it was gone <laughs> yeah and it was yeah. 5 grams yeah you know yeah um, and I was like um, yeah that was that was worthwhile but I think that's where and probably on a smaller scale than the scale that we're trying it on is that's where the tweaking of the mixes comes in isn't it so yeah, you could if you wanted to take out the mineral feed so you weren't paying for it, but put in a uh, grain mix or whatever, or CCM, you could do that, yeah. couldn't you? And that's that's what I like about the um, the realistic mixture. Yeah, is that you can do you know as long as you put in grass and maize silage, the yeah. rest is up to you. Um, yeah, yeah. 
as to what what additionals you want to add in and uh then if you i, I remember did i did a video in fs19 on what tom pemberton fed yeah and and it's it's changed a lot now and if you look now the base of what they feed is grass silage it's yeah, pro- yeah. I, I would guess it's probably 80 percent grass silage yeah um with you know just little bits of extra to make it a bit of variety and i think that's a lot of it isn't it as well as they don't use hay or or straw to mm. pad it out so yeah but i think it, a lot of it comes down to up in the milk production as well doesn't it that's why they have the cell co or yeah whatever he calls and, what, it, you've, and I, yeah. what you've got available i guess because mm. they've got lots in and it's probably i think and I'm, I'm kind of going on my ma- many, many years of YouTube farming experience. Hmm. I think silage has better nutritional value than a yes for cows. Yeah, but it's prob- there's probably some subtlety in there around you know the different things that they do. But if you just want to maximise the feed value of the grass you can cut, it's probably why they all do silage. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. And if yeah, every dairy farmer from the UK that I watch pretty much just make silage hmm I think as well it's it's a lot if you're doing it in a pit it's a lot easier to store isn't it yeah yeah you've not got all those bales to handle yeah exactly yeah and get a you know falling through sheds and stuff yeah that 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 can be a real world problem you know yeah yeah you know, bales can fall through sheds if you leave the door open yeah yeah, you've got to deal with that. Shall I uh, collect some bales up? Uh, yep, that is a good idea. I'm going to just need to jump off for one second. I will be okay. back in a bit. I'll keep right, playing, wait. but... Okay, catch you in a sec. Well, hello, everybody. And uh, welcome back to that green place, Green Valley, Nebraska. Let's see if we can't pick up some bales let's have a look there we go so yeah we're back and uh, it is good to be back took us a while to get things going again but uh, yeah pleased to be here so we'll get these all picked up and we'll head back and have a chat with uh, Mr Disturbed hello hello yeah just had a, a message from work. Oh. Yeah. I've only got when an hour you, uh, like, in about an hour. What, for Christmas? Then. Yep. Really? That's just not fair. Two and a half weeks off. Oh, that's going to be nice. Yep. Can't wait. It, the last few weeks have been mental. And, uh... I'm finishing on Tuesday. That's, that's not so bad. No, it's um I do quite like the Christmas break because and you're probably the same, everybody's off. So you don't come back into Yeah. The horrendous list of e- uh, you know, inbox yep. full of emails. Yeah, so, I know some people at my place are working right up to Christmas, but yeah. every, uh, we shut for the week between the two. Oh um, cool. Yeah. They never used to, but they uh, they decided because a lot of people didn't used to like taking any time off over Christmas. Really? Um, a lot of the people that I used to work with used to only take the bank holidays because they wanted to use their leave in the summer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and we get a lot of holiday where I work. Um, yeah. But you know, a lot of people would like to take the majority of that, which would be like five weeks off when the weather's nice. Yeah. Um, which and is they got really, they got really grumpy when yeah it's only like three or four days maybe you have to take yeah um, whereas I've always had a fairly long break at Christmas mainly because I'm really bad at taking holiday through the year um, yeah and then uh, Mrs D when she used to run her own business she would only close at Christmas okay um, so that's the time then that you would yeah. Yeah, and we, we'd have like we'd have like a week off in the summer for a family holiday, um, but she she you know if she shut she didn't make money so. Oh, um, this is it. Yeah. 
you would just take the week at Christmas and that was it. Yeah, no. A week and bit. Um, well, yeah, so if you're both going to be there and off together, it uh, makes a bit more sense, doesn't it? Yeah, it's not so much of an issue these days, but it's still, you know, I, I've always had it that I take a couple of weeks off at Christmas. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've quite like a long Christmas break, so long ish. Um, just need to remember how to unload. This oh, I can't now. remember which key it is. It's got it. If you open the F1 menu, there's unload and then unload here, and it drops them on the trailer. I have to say that that works reasonably well. Only got it did. six left, which it I did. can get by hand. And, uh, I'm guessing we are filling up quite quickly. Uh, yes, and I need to remember I'm also on push to talk now. Ah, uh, okay. So we have got <laughs> 758,000 litres. Nice. Nice. That will, uh, when, when we eventually get cows, that will do a great job. Yeah, I, we, I meant to ask you when we were first uh, starting up, but have we made plus in it? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think that will be a step too far. Oh dear. You don't want to get a thousand head of cattle and... No, no. no. Oh, okay, I'll let you off. Uh, I, I I think we, uh, we, we stick with... Um, I think part of the problem would be that we haven't really set up the fields to feed with Maze Plus. Um, That's true, yeah. I guess I wish we, we saw because I think we were we, we were going to silage some of the corn, weren't we? Yeah. And harvest some of it because we've got um, both. Thousand you are pigs. enjoying that far too much. Good, isn't it? It's a bit different to doing it manually it with a front loader. It also turns reasonably well. It does, does doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it turns really well. Bit of a jackknife, but hey. To be fair, I think actually we could probably both maybe do with a save game without uh, having to think too much about food maybe yeah yeah i mean the, the the challenge with this one is the uh the scale of things yes um and that that cornfield in front of us is just stupidly large um, yeah in fact hits. every field is the the only field we've got that's smaller than the one we've harvested so far i think is the grass field yeah that's the i think that is the smallest one out the uh out the lot isn't so it? one of the soybean fields is not too big but We've got two of them. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we so go I, into a different production then. I think we were going to go into the um, ethanol and stuff, weren't we? Yes, I think there is places for that on the map. Um, yeah, I, th well, I think we own the ethanol production. Um, we've got the corn dryer and, yeah, do, and the ethanol yeah. production. Because that's why we've grown sorghum, because you use corn, dry corn, sorghum and propane to make ethanol ah almost like there was method in our madness then wasn't it yeah, yeah it's, it's almost like we planned it all <laughs> yeah. that time ago it's just that neither of us, of us can remember yeah literally all i could remember is we had a big load of straw to bale yeah no, and, same uh, here and actually it's not taking as long as i thought no it's not to be fair uh, right, a track tour. If, if, if you're patient, we can get some nice shots of the two tractors working together. I'm always patient. Really? Yeah. Really? Honest. Really? How long did you spend waiting for me and putting kit away and oh, playing with those really nice morning. header trailers? Oh, that was fun. Yes. I would have probably just left the headers on and driven the combines down the road. 
<laughs> it was quite a, the roadway is quite narrow. True. But uh, yeah, I did contemplate it. Right. See if we can get some sort of a thumbnail picture. That might be a good idea. Oh. oh, that's weird. There we go. That's a big lump of uh, something. I think uh, you might be sending me a thumbnail at this rate, because you're the lead. You do remember you have pushed to talk on, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> of course I do, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, you might be sending me a thumbnail in. Okay. Because I can't seem to get a good enough angle with uh, being the following one there you go there you oh. go oh yes thank you put back a little bit more they're quite widely separated swaths so it's not ideal no it's um oh, and you're missing loads which is really oh, upsetting gosh. you can always <laughs> go back and tidy up after me <laughs> It's annoying because they're base game bailers, so I couldn't go in and fettle them. Fettle, yes. Oh, no. Um, who's leaving loads? <laughs> like an it's entire been... swath you've left behind. <laughs> it's because I'm trying to turn things back on. I'll go and get that. Oh, my word. You should be ashamed um, of yourself. Put I yourself am. a tractor driver. Yeah. Oh, dear. I've just I've That's... forgotten how hard it is to push to talk and do things yeah I've I've not bothered with the push to talk bit today yeah I wish I hadn't to be fair as well yeah, we could have done with you last night trying to remember hydrostatic transmission oh the uh, the whiny ones yeah be, being a a car person yeah then uh... oh how did that come into the conversation? Uh, we we were talking about gearboxes, and then okay. we got on to um, CVT transmissions. Yeah. And then Paul was trying to remember the other type of CVT-like transmission. Yeah. Um, and what he was thinking of was hydrostatic. Okay. Yeah, the ones that tend to be on the sprayers and combines, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, that was that was kind of where it came from. Uh, and talking about the the manual gearbox and stuff that we were using. Uh, I think if you've got if you've got a wheel and stuff and all the proper setup, it's probably quite nice because um, yeah. it makes the clutch work properly and you can set your hand throttle and all that kind of thing. But when you're uh, playing on keyboard and you have to then go and bind extra keys to pretend to be a throttle, it's a bit. Oh uh, yeah, that's yeah. That's going to take some, yeah, because keybinds are not easy to start to rework, are they? Because it's amazing how many you actually use already. Mm. Yeah, when you've got, you know, the things like enhanced vehicle and stuff. Yeah. That use loads of keys. <laughs> yeah. um, it was quite lucky I randomly picked some key combinations that nothing else seemed to use. Or luck than judgment, probably. Completely. <laughs> completely it was not intent it was uh it's like it doesn't feel like i ever use those keys for anything yeah i know what you mean um, yeah i hate the kind of having to remap stuff and it'll be interesting to see if the game remembers it in a week's time it should do shouldn't it i think that i mean if it was months ago when do you remember when if you installed a mod it yes might, uh all right, to your key bindings, that was very frustrating. It was. I um, when when that came in, I stopped using any custom key binds. I just used all the defaults. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I think um, I can't remember what I kept. I used. I, I changed a few of my foot pedal thing, and I think I've got like accelerators to run or something as well. And it was just uh, mm. frustrating. Yeah, I think the only one that I routinely change are the open close cover yeah um, because yeah. the the 
fiat tractor that i use on maypole that opens n key opens the door yes and so every time you went to open a trailer cover you'd open the door as well yeah i and, had that with the fence um, yeah. the uh because my laptop doesn't have a home key for doing uh beacons we don't have beacons on there yeah for doing beacons i change that as well normally so that if i'm feeling you know super realistic i can put beacons on doesn't get much use then that button no no <laughs> Jeez, yeah <laughs> oh dear. It's funny. In the past, I've been accused of being quite realistic. Really? And then in the last week, I've been accused of being very unrealistic. So, oh, who accused you of being realistic, Stevie Wonder? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm. I, uh, I'm somewhere in between the two. I think I, a happy I, medium, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not DJ or Dagoin. No. Or or that, that guy that was, uh, was he wind rowing or tedding at like 40 miles an hour? I don't know. Um, yeah, that, that guy was quite unrealistic as well. Um, oh, <laughs> he was hired help and not hired yeah, for very yes. long. Yes, yes. Yes. You're never going to worker. Me... Yeah. You have to get these things done. You do. You do. But you have to keep that sort of stuff off camera. Yes. Yes. Like you need driving to remember... through hedges. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I didn't drive through a hedge. You didn't see that. We haven't no. had one of those. You haven't. You didn't see that moment for a while. I don't think. Um. Mine was like two videos ago on Maple. I yeah. Think. That's what. I'm... Yeah. That's what I mean. But other than that. You've yeah. kept them. Uh, you've kept them quite they few and happen. far between. Yeah, they right. don't happen other than that. Don't spoil the magic of YouTube. Is that the last run that you're doing? Uh, yes, apart from the uh, mess that we've left, but that'll get dealt with by the uh, seeders. Yes, it will indeed. Refertilizer. Yeah. Yes, indeed. We right. we have precision farming on here as well, don't we? We do indeed, yes. When I was shifting the combines earlier, it kept popping um, up and showing how awful this was. And anhydrous, I think. Yep. Is that right? Yep. So that's going to be fun. It is. We're going to have to spend some cash to get that. Yeah. It's all right. We've got half a million pounds in the bank because I forgot to change to uh, freedom units. Yeah, same. <laughs> we, I think I seem to remember that we said this in the first episode, didn't we? How uh, whether we'd be uh, on Carmsden or whatever. Yeah. Talking in dollars, but it's one of minutes. my pet peeves that you can't save currency. Yeah. Because um, yeah. most of mine, it doesn't matter. The only one that's not. Well, two now. This one and um, Froling. Mm. where for a long time I tried to be quite good about changing to kilometres per hour and euros Yeah. and then the last few videos I just keep forgetting I don't know why they don't have it as a save specific thing No, if you I look don't, it's in game settings yeah so not... many people yeah. Yeah. I, I guess it's more a content creator thing because you know how many people that play normally have more than one save game they play mm. I don't know before I started doing this stuff I would play a save game until I was completely bored of it and done Yeah, and then start a new one Yes. so it yeah. didn't really matter as much um, whereas I think with, um, with doing YouTube it's more of a problem yeah agreed but given how many big content creators are, you know, friends with giants, you'd think maybe giants would listen to them. Hmm. You would think no. so. Surgum produces straw, doesn't it? No. Is that a yes or a no? That was a no. It was a no. Okay. Oh, it's um, it's linseed. Is the other crop that does it? Linseed and then yeah, oats. Yeah. 
I will uh, not abandon the uh, baler tractors by the um, soil gun field then. Yeah, they can go. I probably want to wash. Yeah, have we got sound a wash? Like, uh, sound like Args, see? Have we got a pressure washer? I don't think we have, actually. Okay. Right, in that case, I'll just abandon them. <laughs> Dirty boy. Uh, I can't tap to anything. You can't tap to anything. You should be able to tap I'm to guessing, the... I'm guessing you have the other, other tractor. No, it's set to no tabbing for me. Oh. How are we doing for straw? Um, I didn't look at the last load. Just going oh, to well, collect okay, some more. Can't be many left. Uh, probably another load and a bit, maybe. Okay, you know it's a big field when the ring of death <laughs> is uh is an... inside the field. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, it's a rather large one. One point one million liters. <laughs> and what's the capacity? Um, I've got a feeling it's about 1.3. Might be going to sell a load then. I'm liking the, have... uh, the pickup area on this uh, yeah. trailer. Uh, three and a half, so what's that? 1.5, 1.75-ish. Okay. We should be okay. Yeah, fingers crossed. Unless you've got absolutely loads to... Uh, I'm up to 16 at the minute and just spinning back round. There's still quite a few. Okay. We obviously had more than we thought, but we did get a lot of... Uh, yeah, stuck. There we go. We did get a lot of crop off of it as well. We did, to be fair. Oh, God. It's got no lime and no nitrogen. Oh, the lime is at six, and the nitrogen is at zero. Ah. Um, well, I suppose we need to think about what we're going to put in here at some point. Potatoes? <laughs> Poplar? <laughs> <laughs> um, family friendly. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? No. I, I, I would assume we want to focus on the crops that let us produce the ethanol. That is not a bad shout. Um, and we don't really have to make any decisions on planting until next month, so I figure we think... Uh, and the wheat was the only one we needed to harvest today, mm. so maybe we get the sorghum harvested next and uh, yeah. then think about... Is that everything? Mm. Uh, looks like you've got them all. Yep, I think so. Somebody's left a tractor in the way of the uh, trigger. Well, that's not really the route into the unload point, is it? Is it not? No. It's a bit, it's a bit tight the other way. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, you know, so you just kind of drop it down that ridge there. Yeah. And that's fine, is it? Okay. It, it works. Okay. I, I see how it is. And then... And uh, if, you... if you unload them on the trailer, you don't have this problem of them not being in the trigger. And if you drive, put the trailer in the unload trigger. Just bear with me. I, I, yeah. They're all going to go in this time. Ha <laughs> ha. Well done. All right, let me... Uh... Wow, that trailer looks a bit uneven. <laughs> so what's the... My word. We've nice. Point five, oh, 1.5 million. I'm we picked up 201 and 10 litres too much. We did. That's really weird, because you would have thought that the bale sizes wouldn't have left you with an odd number. Oh, yeah. Like that. But that is a lot of straw. It is. I guess that's our only straw crop for the year, so... It, it, yes, there is that. There is that. Um, awesome. Yeah. Let's get this get tractor back here. to the yard. Yeah, I'm going to try and find somewhere to stick this truck. <laughs> um, family friendly, remember. Yeah. yeah. Keep it polite. You could have at least dropped the ramps off the back for me. 
Oh, yeah, all right. Hold on, let me just uh, wait there, wait there. <laughs> wait there. This is proper Dukes of Hazard, this is. What could possibly go wrong? Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to work. I'll strap you on. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Uh, I need to follow the ramp up. That's going to have an issue. Oh, fine. Well, it's fine. I um that it was worth doing just for that. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Think of the diesel we're not saving. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, that's. Um... I think we've got a repair trailer there. Not that it needs repairing, but. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, yes, because there's not a doofer, is there? Yeah. Workshop, that's the word. Um, right, would you like to be released? Uh, go on, then. There I suppose go. I should park this somewhere sensibly. That was brilliant. That that worked amazingly well. That's almost a short, that is, isn't it? That's a, that is definitely a, a promotional short. <laughs> yeah. oh, dear. Let's see if All I right. can park this one next to the other one. Where can this go? And it was just abandoned on the grass next to the other one. What's that? Uh, oh, the trailer. The, yeah, because we've got the the, the the other lorry with the tanker. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I think I might have found a tree. Oh, uh-oh. Stuck. You remember, I'm the one that crashes. I, I, that, actually, that's where you wanted to leave it, wasn't it? It was there. You did say to put it on the grass. I did, yeah, I did. I did say, say to leave which it there. Grass. Yes, I'm just going to have go. a look in here. Because we tipped the, the wheat in here, but it's just not showing in the menu. Yeah. You wouldn't know I've been playing ETS, would you? There we go. <laughs> I've seen the pictures of you playing ETS. I'm surprised the truck's on its wheels. <laughs> Does it not even show up? No. No, because it's mainly a, it, the production is set up as a dryer. So the production shows you the dryer stuff, but it also works as a silo. Oh, okay. But hmm. and I guess we can, if if we needed to see how much we got we could do that and we got uh a 341,000 liters of wheat off of that field how have you found that the precision farming menu oh of course yeah good point good point well that was a lot of fun it was good actually that i did enjoy right. that especially that ending <laughs> seemed to be that looking at the surprise. back of your head that worked surprisingly well. I should be facing you. And I should be facing you. You are. In your planet branded kit. <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure is European. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I'll go for something American next time. So, you know, at least one of us went with the appropriate hoodie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll be back in the, uh, the case combines next time. Yes, we need to get the sorghum done. Yep. And um, right. hopefully maybe start thinking about crops. Yeah, and we have getting to think some during the week. Ethanol started. Yes, so to do that we need to get the corn harvested. Yeah. So that we can dry some of the corn. And then we need to put uh, we need to dry most of the corn because it's four dry corn, one normal corn and one sorghum and some propane to produce five litres of ethanol. Okay. So we so need we... to harvest the, when's the corn harvest window open? Not until October. Uh, okay, so we've got, we maybe in September start thinking about replanting some something. Mm. We can't plant sorghum until, so most of the crops that we need, we can't, Maybe some barley or wheat for straw for the cows. 
Yes, that's not a bad idea. Um, and a bunch of lime spreading. Yes. Yes, that's going to be um, expensive. Have, have we got anything fun to spread lime with? We, we have. got the big case we thing. Have. Yeah, we've got the case trident. Yes. So I think... So between, between that and the anhydrous bar... What could possibly uh, go wrong yeah, with both we... of us in a field at once? Yes, because we've got the um, cultivator thingies, haven't we? Yes. The uh, TB60 cultivator. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. I'm looking at the store menu. <laughs> yeah, for some reason I can't meters. see that in the uh, in the kit list. It's on own. If you go into owned items, it's yeah. a section called anhydrous ammonia. Ah, that'd be why. That's a yeah. beastly looking bit of kit, isn't it? It is. That, that, you that, know, that looks a like a quad track job. Yeah. That looks well, like um, a quad track job. Yes. Did we. Because um... those are the only. I oh, know we could use we could use the uh, the Challenger and the Fent. Yeah. They're big enough. I might treat myself to a big bud. Might you? Maybe. I don't think I've actually got it loaded in. Oh, I have. Only four hundred and six grand. <laughs> so, so only all of our money. Maybe not then. Maybe not though. Okay, we'll, we'll you, save that. You might need. You might need to get busy on the contracts if you can. In fact, there are no contracts, so you can't do that. Yeah, we'll have to have a butchers at that. But yeah, we've got plenty to we'll, be doing. We'll save up for a big bud for you. Ah, oh, thank you. We need you. to buy cows first. Cows and then big bud. Yep. Nice one. Sounds like a plan. Cool. Cool. Okay, well, uh, see you next week, mate. You will do. Take care, mate. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Well, that was good fun. Um, it's good to be back. And, uh, yeah, even though we only got the bailing done, it's uh, one less thing to do for next time. So, yeah, um, join us again soon. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, leave a like, and I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Take care.